If you can use anything, Lord, you can use me. If you can use anything, Lord, you can use me. Take my hands, Lord, take my feet. Touch my heart, Lord, speak through me. If you can use anything, Lord, you can use me. Greetings, friends, and welcome back. It is always a pleasure to have you here. Now, I want us to talk today about a lack of commitment. Yes. Sometimes we may feel like, boy, I can't bother with this thing. I start, but I just can't be done. I can't bother with it. I just want to be done. I just want to move on to something else. I want to do other things. I don't want to be committed to this, especially to the work of God. Have you ever felt that way? Like you can't bother. Let me encourage you today because from time to time we may feel like we can't bother. But us can't bother. But God wants us to stick to the tasks He has assigned us to. How does lack of commitment impact what we are able to get done for God? Now, it is quite interesting because. I have been thinking about even my own commitment to God and the things I do for God and sometimes I'm tempted to be weary and the Bible encourages us not to be weary in well-doing because we will reap if we faint not and the Holy Spirit allowed me to be a part of a panel I was asked to be a part of a panel to talk about this kind of commitment or the lack thereof how the lack of commitment in doing god's will will impact how much we get done and i'll be sharing from my notes because indeed i made notes in order to be able to share then and i will share with you now some of the points that were raised now lack of commitment can also be termed personally i call it half-heartedness and it usually leads to the state of being lukewarm so a lack of commitment i can almost call it half-heartedness like you're doing it but your, your whole heart not in it you're not in it for the long haul you're not pushing and going through with the strength of god the half-heartedness thing is self if we are wholeheartedly serving and doing the will of God, then we are operating in the spirit. Because it's not by might, nor by power, but by the spirit of Almighty God that will help us to do the things that we are called to do. The things we are chosen to do. When we are not committed to doing the will of God, we are at risk of being spewed out. We know about the lukewarm Christians, what the Bible says. We'll be spewed out. I, don't, I definitely don't want to be spewed out. Revelation 3 verse 16 says, I'm reading from the NIV version. So because you are lukewarm, neither hot nor cold, I am about to spit you out of my mouth. What a state to be in. I think I have shared my testimony about being a lukewarm Christian. And I was, I think I was at the brink of being spewed out when the Holy Spirit spoke to me. I had a divine encounter that turned my life around for the better. That's why I'm here. We will not be able to serve efficiently and effectively. And I can remember some of the times saying no to the will of God. Persons ask me to sing. No, I don't want to. Persons ask me to do a drama. No, I don't feel like to do it. To do it. I don't feel like doing it. Persons ask me to exhort or to share 
on a topic and I am I was abled but I said no can we relate can we relate saying no to the will of God passing up opportunities to work for God that's a lack of commitment and I've been there so I want to encourage someone don't say no if you can because there will be times when our engagements clash or we may have our priorities set and we are not able to fulfill one 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 request but i try not to say no blatantly to the work of god especially when i can make myself available another thing is when we have this kind of lack of commitment in in doing the things that god has chosen us to do believers who are discerning will not take what we do seriously so because of this kind of half-heartedness when we do something for god people say Chow. you know even if you have given it your all because you only pop in from time to time to do something and discerning people will know that you are not really willing to do what you are asked to do it often leads to a lack of spiritual integrity and we usually face criticisms can you relate i like to use myself for example because i don't want to offend anybody i used to just want to sing if you call me to sing that is my street and once i remember a lady saying to me it's not about the pretty singing and i took offense because of course i want to sing and it must sound pretty you know and then when i was asked to pray i said no when i was asked to share the word with a group of believers i said no so these are the things a lack of commitment people can see through us oh she don't want to pray she don't want to read the bible she don't want to but she will sing she wants to show off herself we have to take these things into consideration friends we have to be wholeheartedly committed to tasks and use up the gifts man that god has given you when i put out my little song as an intro i pray that somebody's heart is being blessed because many times i remember just singing all kinds of foolish anybody listen to my apple tune <laughs> if you have not listened to the apple tune i just make up a song and i just sing and i just feel nice i feel good <laughs> listen to the apple tune after this video go listen to the apple tune the apple tune bad but we should have this enthusiasm and to work for God, to do the things that God loves. And thirdly, when we don't rise to the occasion to do the work of God or to be fully committed to the work of God, someone's blessing may be hinged on our obedience. And just imagine if we don't obey. Just imagine if god gives you a song i say sing this song and you say no i'm not do it and somebody was waiting to hear the words or the lyrics of your song suppose you were told to bless somebody with some grocery and because it's a lot me tired and can't bother somebody goes to bed hungry suppose you were uh, you were led by the spirit to give somebody some money and you say lord me have my light bill and me have my me have me have my children for God's school and nobody now look for we and that person had an emergency and because of the disobedience or the lack of commitment to doing god's will and listening to the voice of god to rise up and do what you are expected to do somebody loses their blessing i had to do a lot of repenting friends and god is a loving father he will forgive us and set our path straight he will make our crooked paths straight if we allow him we have to allow him so i'd like to end by saying we need to have that stick to itiveness when doing God's will, we have to be whole.
started when doing kingdom building. I pray that you all are blessed today. Stick to it. Whatever God has chosen you to do, don't give up. Be committed. Go in all the way and rely on the strength of God to see you through. I love you all so much. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for joining me today and see you again really soon.